Thanks for your support as a channel member, Justin Inakaitis. We've got two shots to seal the Drivers' Championship for Pierre Gasly today because it's a sprint weekend in Qatar. It's time for a date with destiny. Hello folks and welcome to episode 53, I think this is, of Haas with F2, or maybe 52, of Haas with F2 and GP2 champions only. We're gearing up for the Qatar Grand Prix weekend, a sprint weekend in which Pierre Gasly probably will become the champion of the world because he leads Max Verstappen by 82 points going into the weekend. If he leaves with an advantage of more than 60, it's a done deal. But if he outscores the Dutchman by four points in the sprint, Pierre Gasly wins the World Championship in the sprint, just like Max Verstappen did in 2023. Let's have a look at uh, the, the Constructors' Championship, actually. It's a little bit closer in that respect. It's 50 points, which is a large amount, but a double DNF for us and a 1-2 for Red Bull. If they win the sprint as well, they could very quickly go into the lead of the championship if we score no points this weekend. But that's not going to happen. We're going to score lots of points and uh, we are well on the way. Felipe Drogovic has been improving his skills. He's now 81 smoothness, which is good for strategy. It means we can make the tyres last a little bit longer. And uh, in Qatar, you need to protect the tyres. So uh, we'll be using the avoid high-risk curbs to stop them overheating where necessary and hopefully Gasly's smoothness will come into play in bucket loads. How's the car looking? We haven't upgraded it for a little while but uh, yeah we're still we're actually only seventh for medium speed at the moment so other teams are developing so this could be a little bit of a tricky weekend actually looking at that figure maybe it's not quite the done deal I'm expecting but uh, let's get to the track and see what we can do. An incredible development here in Q1. Pierre Gasly topping the times. George Russell is second. Max Verstappen is 16th. <laughs> we just about scraped through with Felipe Drogovic. He was improving on his second lap because I wasn't convinced he was safe. I expected Verstappen and the Mercedes guys to go faster. He didn't improve. And nor did Verstappen, well he did, but he didn't get out of the bottom five. So uh, he's gone. That's huge, huge, because if Verstappen doesn't out, well, Gasly outscores Verstappen by four points, it's all over. Okay, we are into Q3. Drogovic was second fastest in Q2. Gasly has done a single run in each session and been quick enough to get through. Everyone is heading out. So I think we're gonna do the same. So our first runs weren't great. Gasly got held up with a bit of traffic and uh, so did Drogovic a little bit, but he's only, he's just under three tenths off the pace. So we've gone a little bit early to find a gap. Is that a McLaren coming out of the pit lane? It was Piastri who held us up to start with and it's gonna be Piastri in the way again. He gets out of the way for Gasly. Uh, Drogovic looks okay. What's the first sectors looking like? Gasly with a personal best, Drogovic not improving. As uh, Leclerc and Hamilton currently locking out the front row for Ferrari. Here's Pierre. He's eight and a half tenths off the pace as it stands. He has done a faster lap than a 21.8, I believe. And now we're going to get traffic in the final sector. Oh my God. This qualifying has been absolutely ruined by traffic. I can't believe what I've just seen. And Gasly stays seventh because his final sector was absolutely wrecked. We have got work to do in the sprint race, that is uh, for sure. Drogovic fourth for now. Anyone get out of qualifying? Russell only fifth. Ah, oh, what an absolute mess of a session. And Gasly down to eighth. Well, I mean, well, he did a 21-9 Q1, so there was definitely more in the tank for Pierre. Ah, oh, dang traffic. Yeah, Gasly might be about to become world champion. He's got to move forward a few places to do so. We've got five red lights for the sprint. The lights are out. The race is on. Drogovic going from fourth. There he is. What is Pierre Gasly up to? A lot of people on medium tyres for this sprint race. Hoping to get to the end. Soft tyres, you generally have to stop or risk a puncture. Drogovic down to fifth. Gasly down to ninth. It's that man, Piastri again, causing us nuisance. 
I mean, I'm a big fan of Oscar Piastri and his work in real life, but I'm not a fan of this. Uh, right, Ferrari on soft tyres, Ocon and Sonoda on soft tyres. And we're down to sixth and ninth. Drogovic going backwards here because people on soft tyres are getting the jump on him. Although, uh, no, Sonoda is on soft tyres. And now it's George Russell behind him. Verstappen, importantly, still in 16th. Drogovic has fallen to 7th and is now right in front of his teammate. So don't fight teammate. And he moves out of the way. He only loses one position, which is critical. Did Gasly get DRS? He did, which means hopefully Drogovic can come along as well. He, he got DRS too, so that's helpful. Now, Gasly can get after Russell, but there's four and a half seconds between us on the mediums and the front runners on softs, although they're going to be killing their tyres. So we'll have rubber to play with come the end of the race, and that could make all the difference. Here comes Pierre Gasly. He's just moved ahead and then fallen back behind George Russell, but I think we're going to go down the inside for sixth place which would be three points. Fifth place would give Pierre Gasly the world championship. That's all he needs with Verstappen uh, scoring no points. But the Dutchman is trying to make his way through the field. We are three and a half seconds behind Sonoda, who is on the heels of Fernando Alonso. So there's still 12 laps to go in this sprint. So uh, we, we could still definitely scoop top four potentially maybe a top three place i doubt we're gonna win it we are eight and a half seconds off of leclerc he is looking in good form ocon has got the williams in second <laughs> mate work that out and oh ocon's got a puncture his soft tires have blown we've just passed sonoda gasly is in fourth and in a world championship winning position he's closing in on um alonso what's the gap to the leaders it's 8.8 .8 seconds, but they are going to be struggling on their tyres as well. Hamilton's almost certainly going to get a puncture. He's only got 18% left. Leclerc managing his tyres out front. He's done a great job on those. And uh, Drogovic now up to 7th and hounding Russell, who is on the back of Sonoda. But Gasly could finish yet maybe 2nd in this race. But we, we should be able to catch Fernando Alonso. Drogovic up to 6th. This is crucial for our... Constructors Championship hopes as well. We're going to attack with both drivers. Gasly up into third. Hamilton has just run out of tyre. He's just really, really slow. So we could yet finish second in this race, in this sprint. But we should get Alonso here down the inside. Who got DRS there? Let's just deploy and make sure it's us who's in front. And uh, it was not us who got DRS. We are seven seconds behind uh, Charles Leclerc. We are ahead of Fernando Alonso and Pierre Gasly is about to become the world champion in the sprint. So the, the goal of the episode is going to be achieved very early but we're following the new world champion. Let's uh, not have any mistakes like we did in Japan where we, we were in world championship winning position there and he locked up. He made a rare error. He's been almost faultless this season. Seven Grand Prix victories so many pole positions. Pierre Gasly, welcome to a very special club. He's won races. Now he's going to achieve his dream. Pierre Gasly is the 2025 world champion with Haas. He's done it. He's the man. He's the world champion. Oh, amazing. Another champion crowned on this game to add to George Russell, Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso. Now we add Pierre Gasly to the list. Amazing scenes. Well done, Pierre. You are the man. I'm not sure this is the, the world champion cutscene, but by my maths, he is definitely world champion. And uh, that's a very short cutscene to celebrate it. Obviously, we've got a Grand Prix to do on Sunday in-game, and we're going from the front row. So I think Pierre could probably crown it with a victory. Weirdly, the game doesn't add the sprint points until the end of the weekend. It's a bit silly, but should give you the championship standings here, but it doesn't. Hopefully, they have that in the new game. And uh, Max Verstappen did score a point, but he was outscored by six. So... 
the lead has gone up from 82 to 88. And there is just going to make sure that we've got this right. And I haven't gone too early because that would be very sad. So 26 points available at the final round in Vegas. 26 available in the Grand Prix at Sao Paulo. Plus 8 in the sprint. That's 60 points. Plus 26 in tomorrow's race. 86 points. And we were 82 in front. Add 6. That's 88. Pierre Gasly is the world champion. Just, just fantastic. Slightly different strategies for our drivers today. Pierre Gasly is going to start on the soft tyre. I'm hoping to get him ahead of Leclerc early on. We can build a bit of a lead, come in for hards, fit mediums at the end. He's good on his tyres. We should be all right. And we can avoid the high-risk curbs. If we're not in traffic, we can manage the tyres a little bit better. Drogovic has got to make progress, so we're putting him on tyres that are going to be more resistant to heat build-up, so medium, hard, medium. Again, we can look to um, use the avoid high risk curbs like we did last year to good effect in Qatar. So I've also underfueled a couple of laps. We're ready for a motor race. Gasly's the world champion. There's still a big job to do in terms of winning the Constructors' Championship. So we need to make sure we outscore Red Bull in this race and just keep that ticking over. We can clinch it in Brazil, but we need to make sure we set it up now. Let's do a motor race. The new world champion is on the front row. He's on soft tyres, and the colour of those tyres matches the five red lights. The lights throughout the race is on. Pierre Gasly, can you get ahead of Charles Leclerc? No, the Ferrari has made a good start by the look of it. And actually, it's Alonso who's coming steaming down the outside. We're going to have to defend that. Drogovic has had a shocking start. He's down to eighth already. And that's Perez up the inside. Verstappen's down to ninth. The Mercedes launching off the line. Alonso as well getting the jump on Gasly. Um, not the start we were hoping for, but there's plenty of strategy to play out. Drogovic back up the inside of Perez. Where is he? There he is. Uh, Perez is going to have the position. Again, a mixture of softs and mediums. So let's see how this shakes out. It's taken a few laps, but we have got ourselves into position to attack Fernando Alonso. We're going to jump on board with Gasly. We're going to drive in clean air. And oh, Alonso, your scallywag, blocking the way. And, and Gasly can't find a way down the inside. We're just going to look after things then for the next lap. Can oh, oh, he had a look. He had a look and Alonso cut us off. But this is costing us a lot of time to Leclerc, who's on the better tyres. Drogovic has got himself back up to 7th, and he's lost it. <laughs> he's, oh, no, he's fighting back. He's got it back again. Good job, Felipe. Back to Gasly, and uh, let's uh, attack on the tyres. Let's not drive in clean air this time. And let's deploy what remains of our battery. Is there a chance? Oh, we're just going down the outside. That'll do. Thanks very much. Bye, Fernando. See you later, son. And we'll go and get uh, Charles Leclerc. But, obviously, we've had to use our soft tyres to do this. Uh, we will undercut Leclerc, which is fine. That was the plan all along. Progress for Felipe Drogovic. DRS down the main straight. Mediums looking like the hot ticket at the moment. Down the inside of Lance Stroll goes the Brazilian. And that's sixth place for him. At the front, Gasly is hounding Charles Leclerc, have we got close enough to make an overtake with DRS? Open goes the rear wing. We're going down the outside. I think we're going to go for it. Round the outside into turn one. Late on the brakes. We're squeezing the Ferrari. We're taking the lead of the Qatar Grand Prix. Fastest lap as well. Gasly into the lead. Brilliant stuff. And now we need to pull away. Build a bit of a gap. We've got about five seconds to Russell, which is all right. I mean, we're going to drop way down the field. All right, Gasly's coming in. He had about a second advantage over Leclerc, whose tyres are still in reasonable condition. Russell and Hamilton will go through as well. Uh, Hamilton just setting the fastest lap as he overtakes. Oh, it's a slow stop. Why? Seven and a half seconds. Lads. Well, that's... It's not costly at all, is it? And we're back out behind our old mate Piastri. Great. Here's Felipe Drogovic, who's done a really good job first in. George Russell's just had a slow pit stop, and Drogovic has jumped him as a result. Gasly is now 
fourth on the road. He's 23 seconds behind Charles Leclerc, who continues to lead the way. Um, we've got a couple of seconds to catch up to Sonoda. We do have fuel to save still. It's not an easy circuit to save fuel at, but if you do conserve, it does recover it fairly well as Hamilton pits. wonder if Drogovic will be able to undercut the second Ferrari too. No, he's not even close. Gasly's ahead of Hamilton though, and Hamilton, are, he's on medium, so they're probably going medium, medium, soft at Ferrari. Gasly now passing Yuki Tsunoda. We are 21 seconds adrift of Leclerc, but better tyres will close that gap down. We might actually lead this race by a few seconds. So Leclerc has stopped. He's come out actually behind Verstappen, who's right on our tail. Hamilton is the man leading the race now. Drogovic under pressure from Alonso. Oh, sorry, that's Stroll. Alonso is a little bit ahead of us. We do need him to pick up his pace, but we're already being aggressive on the tyres. Don't want to destroy them. Uh, Alonso on softs. That's why we can't catch him. And Stroll on softs. That's why he's catching us. So that kind of makes sense. Gasly's dropped out of DRS to Hamilton, who's on a fresh set of mediums. So uh, what I'm going to do is get Pierre to rarely defend, just stay online, force them to go offline. Verstappen's on softs, so that is why he's rapid at the moment. Uh, Leclerc has gone to a set of mediums as well. So there's, there's still a long way for this race to go yet. Not too concerned about losing position at the moment because we, we can always get it back. He's been chasing him for a number of laps, but Felipe Dragovic has found a way past Fernando Alonso into the triple right-hander of all places. That is not an overtaking spot. And that's a crucial move with George Russell right behind. So that gives us a couple of extra points in the Constructors' Championship fight. Uh, we're now fifth and fourth. Gasly just dropping back a little bit from Verstappen. We are saving a little bit of fuel at the moment. We can probably save the rest. At, uh, we, yeah, we do have battery, actually. Jorn Becker, your information is incorrect. Uh, so, Felipe, Felipe Drogovic now up to fifth. Can he pull away from Alonso, who's on those aging softs? We probably could, actually, if we attack with the tyres. We can close down Verstappen now with Gasly. And then we're going to be in a really good position. However, we are significantly off the pace of the Ferraris. They are really strong this weekend. I think the win is out of the question, unless there's a problem for Ferrari. Let's be honest, it's Ferrari. They can have a, a complete strategy disaster at any given second. In comes Verstappen. Let's see what he goes on to, because he's got uh, 22 laps to do. It's a set of mediums. That's going to be... It's going to be touch and go. We're going on to a set of mediums, but we're going to do it a couple of laps later. So I think we'll have 20 laps to do on them, which is about what you do in the sprint. So we'll have you know, about the same amount of fuel. So we should be absolutely fine to the end. Question is what the Ferraris go on to. Will it be hard? Will it be soft? We'll find out uh, very soon. Gaz is in for his second and final stop of the day, or night, depending on whatever you want to call it. Let's hope for a better stop this time around. 3.4, that's much better than 7.5. Uh, we are a number of places behind Max Verstappen, who with those medium tyres has got off and running, but he will have used the best of them by the time we catch up to him. And uh, Drogovic now running third. So he's actually done a really tidy job this race. He's still uh, in front of George Russell, which is really good news from him. And he's about a lap away from his pit stop. So let's attack on this lap and see if we can have a really strong end lap. Here comes the Brazilian for his stop. This could be crucial for us. He should pop out behind Gasly. We need a good slick stop, please, everybody. 3.3. Drogovic getting excellent service. Will he pop out ahead of Stroll? No. And he's behind both Aston Martins. He spent most of this weekend fighting the Aston Martins, I think. So uh, he should be well used to trying to get past them. And uh, yeah, Gasly moving up into sixth. He'll now have the advantage in passing Esteban Ocon, his uh, unfriend. Let's just call it that. Right, Hamilton, surely he's going to soft. 17 laps to go. Surely it's soft tyres. Yeah, we're not catching Ferrari today. <laughs> Goodbye, Ferrari. Well done. You got the strategy right. We'll just 
will just fight for third. Gasly around the outside of the final corner. That's how much more grip and speed he has. And now we can chase down Max Verstappen. We're starting lap 52 and a lead for Verstappen that was at one point over six seconds is now just about under two. We're getting blocked by the Alpha Tauri. Bro, get out of the way. Who are you? Uh, you are Isaac Hadjar. Dude. You've been back marker all season. You should know how to get out of the way. Right. Two seconds to Verstappen. Our tyres are at 55%. His are at 50 So we should be able to catch him with probably a few laps to go. There is already a few laps to go. But, you know, before the end of the race is my point. So we, and we, we really need to because George Russell has passed Felipe Drogovic. He's on uh, soft tyres. Drogovic could probably be a bit more aggressive on his and pick up the pace. I think we've left it too late to catch uh, the Englishman. Right, we are within a second of Verstappen. We don't have any ERS though. That's a problem. Verstappen is running out of tyres, as are we. But we are running out of laps to catch the Dutchman. We're going to get DRS, which is going to be very useful down to turn one. It'll close us up to about... Oh, we're actually losing time because we don't have any deployment. We'll have to top up the battery. And that'll drop us back out of, e of DRS. Maybe we'll push with the engine. That'll help us. Charles Leclerc starts the final lap. And we're just going to attack with Pierre Gasly. We probably aren't going to get this podium, which is really frustrating considering we started on the front row. We're going to miss out on a podium to a bloke who started the sprint race 16th. Really tricky day for us in terms of getting the strategy right. Ferrari have been very strong. Red Bull have looked quick too. Um, yeah, considering we had the seventh fastest car through medium speed corners, I think this is a reasonable result. So it's not terrible. But it does mean that Red Bull will inch a little closer to us. Charles Leclerc wins the Qatar Grand Prix in a Ferrari 1-2. Verstappen takes third. And the new world champion, Pierre Gasly, comes home fourth. And Felipe Drogovic will come home at sixth. A nice and neat and tidy race from him, actually. Finished where he started. Made the overtakes he needed to. But, yeah, I mean, let's be honest. The car probably wasn't up to scratch for winning this race. So just minimising the damage to Red Bull is probably about all we could do. And there's your result. Look at Charles Leclerc's fastest lap. A 23-4. Our best was a 24-9 and a 25-1. So Gasly and Drogovic not actually separated by a huge amount in terms of raw speed. Which shows you that Drogovic is getting the most out of the car and Gasly is probably at the limit as well. Constructors' Championship, well, we don't lose any points over the weekend to Red Bull. It remains 50 points with two rounds to go. We need a lead of 40... Four points going to... Las Vegas, so we need to make sure we lose less than seven points to Red Bull over the Sao Paulo weekend, which is also a sprint race. So definitely a chance to clinch the, tit the title there, but we should be good to get it in Vegas unless we have a complete disaster in one of the final two races. Gasly outscores Verstappen by three points across the weekend, becomes world champion if my maths is correct let's just run the calculations one more time 274 points take away 189 should it need to be more than 60 it's 85 <laughs> be a gasly is the world champion and uh, that is a great way to finish the episode leave your congratulations for pierre in the comment section down below i'll see you for the next race in sao paulo where we're aiming to secure the constructors championship as well, we're into the final two episodes now of F1 Manager 2023. F1 Manager 24, it's just around the corner. I can't wait. So make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to join me on the F1 Manager 24 journey. I'll see you in the next round. You're the best fans. It's bye for now.